One of the things that makes tennis quite challenging as a sport is the amount of thinking time. Think about it. Between points, there is a lot of time for the players to have negative emotions, for thoughts to come in, for them to lose concentration. It's one of the things that makes tennis quite challenging. And actually, if we watch a typical tennis match, the ball is only in play probably 20 or 30% of the time. But I'd be pretty confident that most of the work that you're doing in your lessons is about what the players are doing when the ball is in play. So my question to you is, how much time are you spending with your players on the majority of the time when the players are not hitting the ball, they're not active in the point, but they're in between points or between games or between sets? So here's a, a really nice little activity that I like to use. You'll notice at the back of the court here, I've marked out a little semicircle with some lines. It could be a cone. It could even be your ball basket. It really doesn't matter. And the rule is very simple. As I walk back, I think back. As I walk forwards, I think forwards. So here's how it works. I've just played my point. I hit the forehand, it went out. I then have to walk back. I'm going to turn my back on you for a second, if you'd excuse me. I'm walking back. This is my few seconds to be able to think about what just happened. Maybe to even let out a bit of frustration, maybe for a fist pump if I won the point but I'm thinking about the point that I've just played. My racket is in my other hand just to help me to relax. I'm walking back, I'm thinking back. As I get to here, I now turn around, and as I walk forwards, I'm now thinking forwards. I may have had to pick up a ball if I'm about to serve, but I'm now thinking as I'm moving forwards, I'm now thinking forwards about the plan for my serve. It might be that I'm walking forwards and I'm about to return, in which case I don't need a ball, but I'm now thinking about the shape I need to be in for my return of serve. So, really simple rule, which you can put into any lesson. Walk back, think back, turn around, walk forwards, think forwards. And that's a really simple little strategy which even young players can use to help them to learn a little bit more about how to manage the time between points or between games.